Bala, can you introduce yourself a little bit about academics, uh, certifications and workshops and projects that you have done? I am N. Bala Subramaniam from Vijayawada, currently pursuing 6th semester in the branch of EC with an average CGPA of 8.4 at Lakredi Baladi College of Engineering. When I joined my B.Tech, I was the guy who cannot speak a single word in front of anybody on Dias. So I wanted to improve myself uh, to become a good communicator. So I grabbed every each and every opportunity which I got in my hands, like presentation, workshop, or uh, any competition which uh, which makes me feel better speaking in front of crowd. Now I I was able to overcome that fear and I can speak with uh, in front of anybody, no matter what the count of crowd appear. From uh, from the past two years, I have been uh, IEEE coordinator and as well as a branch coordinator for the innovation cell. Uh, at my college uh, as part of IEEE coordinator i have been conducted uh, i have conducted many events such as essay writings paper presentations uh, quizzes etc as part of uh, i, I uh, incubation cell coordinator i conduct, uh, conducted a, a innovation fest ideation fest 3.0 uh, in march 2019 where people are, uh, where all the students from all branches come over and share their innovative ideas, the ideas which are feasible and uh, uh, will be product uh, will be converted to product by by giving funding to them. And uh, I've completed uh, Python data structures and algorithms course in NPT. In the past uh, three years, I have been working on various projects to improve myself strong in IT as well as in uh, my core electronics. Uh, I, can, uh, I have done, uh, we, uh, I've presented many papers in presentations and can, uh, went to, uh, uh, participated in workshop, many workshops. And I won first prize in the event of uh, innovative thoughts and ideas conducted by ISRO at the World Space Week, in World Space Week uh, uh, 2019 at LBRC. I won first, I won second prize in the event of uh, uh, project exhi uh, exhibition conducted at uh, Lakshya 2K 18. In, in my branch uh, for my autonomous cleaning robot project uh, which helps uh, physically challenged people to clean their rooms and uh, control their home appliances uh, with no human intervention and alert their family members if there is any fire accident or uh, gas leakage and my hobbies are playing uh, badminton uh, playing chess and drawing and my uh, coming to my family background, uh, my father is a hardware engineer and my mother is a homemaker. And uh, I have a sister who is studying uh, uh, computer science and game development. That's it. In which technology you answer the programming questions in MQT? Python, sir. Rate yourself in Python within a scale of 1 to 10. Yes, 8.5. What are the basic data types that are present in Python? Uh, we have a basic data types in Python such as integer, float, boolean, complex, and string. These are the basic data types. Can you write a program to print the following pattern? Is Python language case sensitive or insensitive? Uh, yes, it, Python is case sensitive. What is the difference between list and tuple? Both uh, both uh, list and tuple are uh, uh, both list and tuple are used to store a group of elements at one in one variable or at one place. But the major difference in between both tuple and list is list is mutable and tuple is immutable, which means uh, we can add elements to the list after creation of the list, or we can remove elements from the list. But whereas in tuple, once we create the tuple, we cannot modify the tuple at all; it is fixed. If you are given a chance to choose a specific technology to work, which technology do you choose? I choose uh, cloud computing, sir. We all know that one of the trending technologies that are present in the market is uh, cloud technology. Cloud computing is one of the um, one of the uh, major technology that is trending nowadays. So I I am I have a little bit idea about cloud computing and I. I so I wanted to work uh, in, in that area because it is one of the training technology and as well as uh, in which area I have 
a little experience and I was interested in cloud computing. Can you name any cloud computing companies? Yes, sir. Uh, Google Firebase is one of the cloud computing techno uh, computing company uh, the uh, company that will support uh, cloud computing that offers cloud computing. Whereas uh, uh, Amazon AWS, uh, Amazon Web Services is one of uh, is other one of the companies that provide a cloud computing service. Have you ever heard of uh, Microsoft Azure? Yes, sir. I have heard of uh, Microsoft Azure. It is uh, it is one of the companies that provides uh, cloud computing also. What is the trending technology in your course site that you want to see developed in the next five years? Five uh, G is one of the most uh, important technology that uh, every country is wanted to uh, is developing now, right now, and it is crucial to get five G uh, as because it offers more uh, huge speeds in coming to internet mobile internet especially and I wanted to see that technology develop because uh, and, uh, it's not the same case with the 4G as well as in 5G but uh, when it considering towers uh, if it is uh, if it is 4G uh, consider the towers are like for suppose for every 5 km there is a tower but whereas in uh, 5G we need to construct uh, every two uh, one tower for every 2 km because uh, in 5G we are using a millimeter wave technology so uh, the wave is very sensitive to obstacles so we cannot uh, afford to lose signals right so that is why the range of uh, reception will be reduced uh, because of that uh, wave uh, sensitivity so we need to consider that case and we need to build a number of towers as we as I said as an example one to two kilometers radius we need to build a tower so uh, there will be a huge number of towers that we need to build. That is, uh, that is the crucial case that we need to consider while building 5Gs. So I wanted to see a 5G coming in the next five years, hopefully. Yes. What is the default memory allocated to an integer in Python? Uh, 24 bytes is the default size allocated for integers. So by default, uh, uh, we can see in other languages like C or Java, it is less uh, four bytes or two bytes. But whereas in Python, almost every data type is considered as a minimum of 24 bytes. Even a Boolean value consists of 24 bytes of memory by default allocated to it. Uh, whereas in float, it, can, it gets 28 bytes of uh, memory allocated. This is part one of the TCS Ninja interview and if you are willing to watch the second part and please do subscribe to our channel and share with your friends uh, this video who are, who are having interviews in the next coming weeks. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.